Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another ink comparison video, and this is the Monteverde Sweet Life ink comparison. Now this is going to be a two-part video. So the first ink we want to take a look at today is Monteverde Birthday Cake. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here that this is quite a light color ink. So you'd see there the difference. And this is Monteverde. And it's birthday cake. That's quite an interesting sort of violety colour. The next ink is Monteverde Blue Velvet Cake. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is actually a much different colour than I was expecting. To be honest, I don't really know why I was expecting a different colour, but I thought that this would be a lot more of a, maybe a lighter blue. So this is Monteverde. And it's Blue Velvet Cake. But you can see there that that's almost really a blue black. The next ink is Monteverde Key Lime Pie. Do an ink swatch. Now I have to say that this is one of my favorite Monteverde inks. I like this one. I like the strawberry shortcake one, but I like this one as well because this is a really punchy neon green. And it's just a green I really like. So this is Monteverde. And it's Key Lime Pie. But you can see there that writing example, it's a really nice green ink. The next ink is Monteverde Mango Mousse. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now this definitely is a mango or apricot colored ink. Do a second pass. So you can see the difference there. So this is Monteverde. And it's Mango Mousse. But that is a lovely mango apricotty colour. And then the last ink in this ink video is Monteverde and it's Blueberry Muffin. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, I thought that this blueberry muffin would be a little bit more on the bluer side. But I don't know what you think. So this is Monteverde. And it's blueberry. muffin. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So the first ink here is Montever Monteverde Birthday Cake and you can see that this is quite a lovely colour. Uh, there's a lot of difference between the wet versus the dry. 
Uh, there's a little bit of shading going on here in the pooled areas. Now, this does want to sheen slightly. It's really not sheening that much, but I'm seeing a slight difference here where it does seem to want to sheen a little. The next ink is Monteverde Blue Velvet Cake. And this was a little bit more of a, a different blue than I was expecting. Uh, I don't know why, but I thought it might be a little bit more of a lighter blue. Uh, this, you can see here, the very much of a difference between the contrasting wet versus dry. I'd almost say probably the dry is what I was more expecting. Now, there is a little bit of shading going on here in the pooled areas. And there is also a little bit of sheening going on around here and around the edge up here as well. I'll try and get that on camera, but that is quite uh, an interesting ink. It's not sheening a lot though, so it's not too highly saturated in dye content. The next ink is one of my favorites, Monteverde Key Lime Pie. And this is a beautiful green ink. Uh, you can see here the difference between a wet and a dry nib. I typically use it in a wet nib. Uh, you can see there's a lot of shading around the pooled areas, especially around the top here. You can see quite a lot there going on. Uh, there is no sheening though to this ink, but it is pooling quite nicely. The next ink is Monte Verde and it's Mango Mousse. And this is a beautiful mango or apricot style color ink. And you can see the difference between the wet and dry. There's a lot of uh, sort of pooling going on here around the edges. So you can see a little bit of shading going on there. But typically it's not a very uh, sort of shading ink. But you can see that there. Uh, and again, there's no sheen because uh, typically yellow inks do not have sheen. And then there's Monteverde Blueberry Muffin, and you can see here the difference. So you've got wet versus dry. You are seeing a lot of shading going on, though, on, on these pooled areas here. Uh, there is no sheen as really, but I would like to say that I think it is trying to sheen. It's just not quite there. But it is actually, it's almost getting to a point of having a sheen on it. So that's my Monteverde Sweet Life Inks comparison number two video. If there are any of these inks that you like, do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other Monteverde inks that you like and I haven't showcased so far, then do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Monteverde Sweet Life Inks comparison number two video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.